Hey, what's happening, people? Welcome back. This is uh, Super Paper Mario, brought to you by um, Ben. Uh, thank you, Ben. This is part number six of uh, Super Paper Mario. Okay. Uh, ben, I'll get your question uh, set up in just a second. No, Zelda, don't play. Ben wants to know the favorite character from... There you go. Okay, so there you go. Uh, your favorite guide from the Paper Mario franchise. Like, who is it? Yeah, it's right there. So, uh, Ben, do you remember what was happening in this last time? I needed to find a door or I found a door. I think it was something like to do with an astronaut's helmet or something like that. <clears throat> We're starting chapter four. Okay, thank you, Ben. for me to instant teleport or something in this again? No, this isn't right. I think I can just go... What was it? It's way to fast travel again. Chapters? Cards? Was it important things? Yes, return pipe. Okay, so the green door. Okay. Space helmet, put on Bowser, yes. 
Okay, that's weird looking. I, I didn't let Bowser die, I just put a space helmet on him. Sorry, Ambi. What do you think? You can breathe now, that's good, right? Oh yeah, I can breathe! But now my nose itches. Man, I hate space. Very well, let's go then. The pure heart is somewhere in the sea of stars. What? What, Ben? Uh... I, I don't... What? You're looking forward to more Paper Mario and more... days? Thank you, e Mr. Turbo Man. Appreciate that. Okay, so I'm heading toward where the SOS thingy is. And uh, Bowser actually looks pretty funny with the uh, giant helmet on his head. SOS. No, that doesn't work. Thank you for getting the groceries. SOS, SOS. Okay, so I just... I'm just supposed to follow the SOSs? Okay. Then what? Uh, this is sparkling, but I can't interact with this. Okay. Hey, Ben, do you remember what I'm supposed to do with this section? Supposed to use Tippy. Follow the SOS. I am it. It goes to the sparkly stuff right here. Uh... I, I'm just asking Ben, guys, because Ben would remember. Unless there's other people that remember, then feel free to help out as well. Uh, tippy. Oh! Well, I didn't know Bowser could use Tippy, too. There's something here. What in the world is this? And why is it hidden? It looks like a giant spaceship or something. Hmm, this is a spaceship. Looks rather like it. Whoa, there's a little alien inside. Squirp. Weird. Squirple, 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 squinks. Good morning, Squirp. Oh, uh, good gravy, you're ugly. What in the world are you, and what are you doing here? Huh? You're the one looking for a pure heart, right? I'm Cutter. Or, sorry, I'm cuter than I thought. Um, how do you know about the pure heart, and how about us? Are you allied, allied with the Count? I demand answers. No, scary faces, you can call me Squirps. I'm your captain, Squark. And if you want the pure heart, we need to work together, Swoop. Whatever do you mean, please explain yourself. Um, thank you for the super chat, Ben. Amber's getting something to drink. She'll be here when she gets here. Squirp can't tell much now, uh, but you must trust Squirps. Now follow me, Squinks. Squinks? Squonks? Yeah. We won't be doing that. Squawk! Okay, that was weird, Bowser. Aha! You heed the captain's orders. You are a space grunt now, and that is the only rule. Your only responses should be yes, sir, and gotcha. Understand? Uh, gotcha. Nah, ha, ha. Looks like you understand. Good. Um, are you okay with this, Bowser? Hey, listen here. Whatever. But the second this kid crosses me, I'm gonna munch him like a green corn niblet. Okay, if you say so. Great. Then let's get ready. Uh, well, directly to the pure heart, it's like warping, except Squirps invented it. In order to squarp, or warp, you'll need a lot of energy. Uh, you're all brimming with power-ups, right? You must give it to me. Press the A button to give a power-up to the little alien guy? Okay. Wait. Press A. 
I am pressing A. Oh. Press and hold A until you think you've built up enough power and then release it. Okay. Giving power to an alien? Meeting an alien. Meeting an alien. Ten minutes, nine minutes. Meeting alien. You have to open this box, then you have to meet alien. Okay. Meeting alien. I thought that in your game for all this coping, you thought you wanted to open boxes, but the box. I, I do want to open boxes. Just haven't had a chance yet. Um, well, that's how we lose contacts with people. Press the A button until you think you've built up enough power and then release it. Uh, keep holding A until you feel the power release and then... Okay, so hold A. Oh! Okay, well that's useful. Keep holding until you feel the power then release. Success! Oh. <clears throat> and here we go! Squarp! Now, am I going to be wearing the space helmet the whole time, or was it just, like, for being in uh, outer space? Because the helmet actually makes Bowser look wicked funny. Oh, good, he's going to keep wearing it. Now, does every character also get to wear the helmet? Do they share it? Uh... Let's see. We're not even close to the destination. Whoops. Is that all the power up and power you have? Good for nothing, space grunt. Ah, uh, for thinking you had more. I guess that's my fault. Anyway, good for nothing, own good for nothing, ways of moving, squonk. There's a ways to go before you reach the uh, per pure heart, so you must space swim now. Use two to shoot enemies with my squirps, squirt beam, and fire... Uh, space grunt. Charge! Press what? Oh! Oh! I see. So it's like... It's like our type. Interesting. I vaguely remember this now. And he has unlimited. What about if I hold it in? Nope, no charge shot. Okay. Easy saw. Oh, thank you for the uh, super chat, Ben. Really appreciate that. Pew, 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 pew. I don't know that many enemies. Though. Okay. Oh, and you got a dried shroom. Thank you for sponsoring today's stream, Ben. I um, really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Whoa. Oh, whoops. Oh, that's right, they don't give you very much health to begin with. Okay, we got that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so move these guys out of the way. And I get behind them, right? Oh, okay, Ben, that's very sweet of you. No, I'm fine. I mean, it, I'm fine. Do you want to save your game? Yes. And Zelda's going to go to sleep down on the floor like she always does. There we go. Then I, guess... I, just, I just was getting tea. Yeah, she's got her tea right here. I see it. Okay, so... He said if I ever need to delay a stream, I... Use mm -hmm. It's very kind of you, Ben. Thank you very much. Can I get past? Oh, those are just background rocks. They're not actually. Hey guys, um, remember one of the. Hey yeah, guys, I'm mainly gonna focus on Ben's stream today, so I'm not really gonna answer a lot of questions. I've been very so the community stream took a lot out of me, so I'm not very cool. So um, Bowser is in space. That's really cute. There we go. So I call this Bowser Space Adventure because it's like actually works out pretty well. And I think any character can wear the helmet, but I just kind of want Bowser to do it. 
I think so. Uh oh. Well, now they're saying that. Go to characters. Switch. Yep. Everybody can wear this face on it. But they don't look as funny as Bowser. Let's see what Peach yeah, looks Bowser like. looks cute. There's Peach. Yeah. Okay, Bowser's funny. Whoops. There we go. Much better. Oh, did I miss him to be dialed? Okay, I got it. Only a little bit of tippy dialed. Not much. You know, they got the helmet, had some weird aliens show up, and then just did some uh, shoot em up stuff. Okay. And uh, kind of like a Mandrako stream where you're just traveling around in portal to portal. It's basically what's happening here. I don't know which portal does what. There's so many of them, so it's been popping in and out of portals. Uh, oh, oh, I see. So you go in those portals? That's yeah. Cool. I think I came in that one, or I came in this one. Let me try this one. If not, I'll go to the other one. Uh, yeah, more or less, there's been a lot of this. Hmm, <laughs> Bowser looks funny prancing around space. <laughs> he does. You can see his little feet kicking. I'm going to go backwards. Yeah, there's no enemies here. Okay, try going um, back in this portal, and then I'll take the one that was next to it, see where that goes. Um, the like goal is uh, 150 likes. If you guys uh, want to like help out with that, I really appreciate that. Wait, where did the other portal go? Huh? That doesn't make any sense. There were... Oh, okay, there it is. Never mind. They moved the portal further away that time. They were closer together last time. Like that. Huh. Uh... Okay, so I can go backwards here. Guys and girls, um, please uh, remember, this is Ben's stream, so let's all be really nice and supportive to Ben in the chat. Thanks, everyone, and thank you, Ben, for being an awesome ultimate member and for keeping this channel on the air. You're breathtaking, Ben the Rosalina fan. Thank you for sponsoring another stream of Super Paper Mario on the Wii. You're breathtaking, Ben. Hope you're having a great day, Ben, and great to see you. And I hope you're having a fantastic day. Okay, so if that didn't work, uh, try the portal way over here. That's right, Austin. Ben is epic. Okay. This should do it. Or not. Come on, Bowser. Ah! Okay, enemies. This is good. This is different. Hi, VJ Starshine. Hi, Lebre. Great to see you. Um, Camp Field. Great to see you, OH. Hi, uh, Isaiah. Hello, uh, Jacob Langlet. Great to see you, Blue Ant. Hi, Thomas Kenobi. Hi, um, Isaiah, and great to see you, uh, JR Zoo. Hi, um, Sasha, great to see you. Hi, Caro. Hello, Blue Ant. Um, hello, J Dog. And in time to look at the guys are doing great. No, 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 no. Hi, I'm Simon. So I'm going to go up on the road. Hi, everyone. There we go. Okay, so now they want me to go to the opposite side of the map instead of going. So it is like an art type thing. Looking which direction you need to travel instead of going all the way to the right. You have to go back. Okay. Zoink. Oh, you have to use the Wii Mart. Yeah, there's stuff hidden sometimes, so it's just good to check for it. That way you don't keep running around aimlessly. Although, like I have been saying, I've been going from portal to portal for the past, no, I'd say 20 minutes or so. But I, I like the music for this level, it's kind of exciting. And I like 
Bowser makes yeah. it so interesting. Lost in space, if we call this. Well, hopefully we don't get too lost. We've got Ben here to guide us if we need help. And Blue Ant and a couple, a couple other people played this. Right. So this is one of the most fun games we've ever played. Yeah, Super Paper in Mario. In general on the channel. It's a really fun series. Super Paper Mario was very interesting. Uh, I did play through it all the way when it first released. Oh, I, but we didn't actually... It came out two years, two or three years before we started doing Let's Play, so this was a review. I played through it for a game review. It would have been fun to do a Let's Play, but I just remember when we started doing Let's Plays, a lot of the interesting games, what made us stand out to people was not only our, our banter and our brand of comedy, but also we looked at brand new releases where most Let's Players were looking at games um, that they really loved and they replayed over. Oh, right. We were playing with mm -hmm. Eventually we did do some retro stuff on occasion. People subscribed to us because they wanted to see the brand new game. That's, yep. And now you have so many channels that are doing the same thing we are. They're not us. Um, but I like looking at the classics too. This was one of my favorite um, Wii games. Because it, it changed up the Paper Mario. So Paper Mario was an RPG, and this was the opposite of that. That it was uh, something else. It was like a action adventure game. What does that do? That's a mysterious planet. You can get there through the squip pipe. Squip point. The what? If you enter one of these, you can warp to the other location. But how do I enter it? Just walk into it and hit the A button. Uh. Huh. Hey Ben, do you remember how to use the small little warp pipes? Do I need to be a different character? <laughs> Mario Flip? Oh yeah, Ben says it's pretty funny. Can I just say, we're doing this Space World the same month. We're getting a new major Mario title that's also set in space. Oh, yeah. I know, true. right, Ben the Rosalina fan? This is why you really want to be Mario here. And that is the smaller hitbox, says Ben. Okay, thank you, Ben. Look in the 3D, says Blue Ant. Yeah, I gotta. I, I kinda messed up. I gotta wait for my 3D bar to fill up. Shrink yourself, says Beardo. Use the dot. I can shrink myself? I don't know shrink myself. Drink, drink, drink. Turn sideways. Hop. Uh, there's a slim option. I don't see any shrinking. Were you saying something, Ams? Turn sideways. Flip through paper thin gaps. Pull off powerful ground pounds. Hop on a carry and hover. Maybe hmm? during the next stream I can do the thumbnail. If you want to, the next stream is Xenoblade. Uh, press A. Okay, um, I don't see a shrinking item, people. But I can do this. Oops, but now I can't see. Oh, wow, that's so weird. Mm. That. Oh, lost in space. This is so Oh. Oh, I was overthinking it. There he is. So now I can get to that tiny pipe. There we go. Okay. Does he still have the helmet on? Yes, he does. It's cool. Okay. Wait, that can't be it. Oh my gosh, that was it? I guess that was it. Really interesting. But that didn't really help anything. The game is super creative. It is creative, but that wasn't... There wasn't anything here. That can't be right. Because this was really hard to get to. Huh. Yeah, I got a bunch of, like... Um, I got some hamburger helper at the store and some other things. Awesome. Thank you very much. Nope. There's nothing here. Hmm. Well, it's hard to put good stuff in because I, the pizza was there. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna finish eating the pizza today. It's almost over. I think. I think there's only a few slices left. Mm. Uh, 
and you got you brought the pizza home like two days ago, I think. So yeah, it's almost all gone. Like, huh? That's weird. Hmm. Thank you, J Dog. Uh, why did they have us come here if there's nothing here? That can't be right. I think by Cardinals they have money to make enemies. I think right now. I I... Your homemade ornaments are really nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a shame because they're so expertly made. I hope maybe one person will eat that I send them. I wish I could make them for all of our viewers. The same. I could probably Ooh. make them for all my members or something. I wish I could make Christmas ornaments for everyone. Maybe there's a way I could get, like, our members' P.O. boxes in the future and make them, like, little ornaments or something. We have to be careful about that, though. It doesn't say our last name on it. It says, love, Amber, and Luke, Merry Christmas. So I could actually make them some. No, I, I know that, but And it's... it wouldn't be too hard to sell. I could just wrap it in bubble wrap and put it in a small envelope, and it would be really easy to send out. Yeah, I mean... Is, we could do that, but also we have to be more careful with people because you can't really. You're you, not supposed to know your subscribers' addresses. You're because not. Of you're not supposed to know too much personal information about your users because that can seem very taboo. But then, how come that one YouTuber sends stuff to all his viewers? He breaks the rules all the time. There doesn't seem to be any consequences. Wait, that was the end of the chapter? That wasn't very long at all. Yeah. I think yesterday I was very excited about making the ornaments and then today I realized that I had just put so much work into it and I realized nobody would care and uh, it was hard. I think the ornaments are really cool. Mario and gang uh, cruise through space led by the young alien named Squirps. Uh, what kind of creature was it anyway? And what was with those weird noises? Whenever confronted with a question, it would say, Squirps is Squirps and Squawk. All they could do was trust that he knew where the pure heart was and follow him. They were doing just that when something appeared ahead of them. It was a teeny tiny planet. Oh, chapter four continues. Okay, never mind. I thought that was over. A paper emergency. Chapter 4 2. Paper emergency. Paper emergency. So that is. Emergency. Yes. This planet really seems on the small side. Oh, whoops. Two. Just where do you intend to take us? Nah, somewhere on this planet should be the entrance to the space byway. Squark. Squeak? Squark. 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 Squeork. Squeork. Yup, it's a shortcut to the pure heart. Really? You don't say. And where might that entrance be? Squaw, 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 squaw. You're gonna laugh, squog. It's... Squirps forgot. <laughs> that Japanese falling over thing. Huh? Don't look at squirps like that. Everything's fine. I think there probably should be some clues around here. Somewhere, Squirple. What a wretch! Huh? What is it? Did you remember something? No, I have to go potty really, really bad. I can't hold it anymore. Oh my gosh. Well, that's where, so weird. Where is he going? Let's look for some clues ourselves. Yeah. Hmm, well, a lot of good he did. Oh, it's for clues. Oh, we have to look around. Where are the clues? Do you see a clue? Nope. Wait. Anything getting highlighted? No. Nope. Okay, I guess we're uh, no longer wearing the space helmet, though. Oh, because we're in a tiny little island. Oh, there's the outhouse. Oh, it's a porta potty. Squirps! It's occupied, and whoever's in there won't come out. At this rate, I'm going to have an accident. Um. <laughs> oh, here! Wait, what is that? Is it's a, a person girl? Sweet. Here is... 
What? I, I see. Yeah. Here I see the more waiting you. This is no time for silly songs, Squirrel. I've got to use the bathroom here. One hundred years ago, amore, I came here to go, amore. So bored, so bored, amore. No toilet paper here, amore. I wait a hundred years, amore. Wait for what for a more? Any paper, please, a more? Just a sheet for me, a more? Implore, implore, a more? So the person won't leave because they don't have any TP. Okay. Well, a more? Oh, a more? I need a more. I, I thought more, they were uh, saying like amore, like in Italian, like I think love. They, I think like when the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's amore. Yeah. <laughs> when the stars seem to shine. Hey, hey, what are you doing? What is this plate? Oh, sorry. Why is she licking this? I can pull you back. Zelda, what are you Why? doing? It's love. I'm sorry. Mm. So you weren't coming over here to hang out. You were coming over there to lick a plate. Didn't Amber give you crunchies? Mm. I'm sure she did. I heard your bowl being used. That, was, your um, that was supposed to be a male. Oh, Luke was supposed to be singing that one. Oh, well. Luke can sing it next time. Fine. Sorry, Ben, we got that wrong. You have to make up your own Amore thing. You have to make up your own Amore thing. Okay, so we got some question marks up here. You can tell it's the other pixel by the rainbow all night. Okay, thank you, Ben. Oh, it's a pixel. Oh, it's another pixel. Oh. Alright, thanks for letting us know, Ben. Appreciate that. Yeah, I just... Zelda! We feed you! Weirdo! Oh. Yeah, I got... Well, I'll tell you, I got some apple chips at the store. They were like three dollars a piece. Cool. No, I got them to put in the Christmas presents, but then I realized uh, they were... If you want to eat them, I'm I've never I had apple I'm, chips. I'm gonna get some extras for you. I just, just keep getting all this to other people, but I don't have anything for you for Christmas. I don't know. 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 Is that paper? I have That's to put a it on space rig. I'd have to put it on layaway or something. Why are you licking things? Go drink your water. Stop licking boxes, weirdo. That looks like a uh, that looks like a Metroid thing. Oh, like it's a glowing. It looks, looks like, like a screw a, attack. It looks like a rift in time. Yeah, it's a, it's a space rift, but it looks like a screw attack. Uh. Yeah, it does look like a screw attack. Okay, that heals stuff. Okay. Cool. What does a screw attack do in Metroid? It turns you into like little circle object, and you, you can hurt people with it. Sort of. So the thing, stop being weird, please. I know it's hard for you, but try. Such a curious button. Go back and lie down in your spot. Okay, that didn't work. Oh, it did. Good. Hmm. Ooh, I like the music. Now it's all heroic sounding, like almost Mario Galaxy like. Oh, yeah, Mario Galaxy has great music. I think this came out before Mario Galaxy. I don't remember. A long time ago. Uh. Okay, so that didn't work. So we have to go like this. Maybe scan. Ah, there's a door there. Uh, How are you gonna get it open? 
we'll be Bowser. That'd be easier. So we switch to Bowser. He was saying I want a Mori toilet paper. I need more. I need more. Oh, what about was that one? Ah, that was easy. All right, door open. Come on, Bowser. Party time. All right, you guys, there are uh, about 100 people watching with 80 likes. Let's get those likes up to 100 if we can. Thanks save game. Everyone. Game save. Save complete. Good, 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 good. Uh, nothing secret in here. Okay, so if it's not for Bowser, then Mario time. Let's do something in here for Mario. Mm. Aha! There is something for Mario. Okay, so Mario needs to be the pixel oh. slim. Ben says screw attack the company ABGN used to work for. Now it's death battles at Ben. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's where they. Yep. Screw attack doesn't exist anymore. Oh, you love uh, apple chips, especially the cinnamon ones. Awesome, Ben. Yeah, those are the ones I got. With cinnamon. I guess I'll get some more tomorrow. So that way I can put one thing. Because everyone always is telling me, I can't eat this bread because I'm on a diet whenever I try to get people stuff for Christmas. So it's like, well, here's some chips made of apples. You can't get healthier than that. It's pretty smart. No, it's just, I feel oppressed because people are always telling me what I'm allowed to put in their Christmas presents. It takes the phone out. Mm, you should just make the present you want, and then if they don't like it, that's on them. Okay. Oh. Oh. Well, that's awesome, Ben, that you like them. I, I might try some. I got some. I got. I was gonna send six different Christmas presents out to our main, like, immediate family. And then. So I got five things of apple chips, and I didn't get all six. So maybe I'll go back to the store and get it. <laughs> I was gonna get myself a salad. I don't know, I didn't have time to get very much. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Oh my god. Is there anything up here? Mm. I don't really. Oh. Hmm? It just. It took me four hours to make four of the, the ornaments, so no one will know how much work I do. I will know. I was where you showed me what it looked like. It looked really like cool. Yeah. Uh, I wish I could make that for our members. Like, maybe our ultimates I could make for our members. So now we're making the new ones. They'd have to be comfortable giving me the other ones. Yeah. Like, I know, I know Danny and Evelyn do, like, do some stuff for the members. I mean, I could always ask. I mean, everyone else is breaking the rules, so... Yeah, that is true. That is very true, you are correct. You can get, like... Well, it's really easy to get, like, the cardboard... Not the cardboard, but the wooden cuts cutouts for the lambs or for the circle, for the wreath. It costs you, like, $7 for, like, 12 cutouts. So basically, each, each one is... Less than a dollar. Actually, I got, I got um like twenty, twenty um wooden cutouts for ten dollars. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. Not really good. And now I know what not to get, so I can just like, order that from Amazon next time. And I, because I got the wrong type of garland. Out, but now I know what to get. I have it in my save for the next year. So I can save a lot of money. Plus, I don't have to pay for shipping, so that's pretty cool. Oh, wow. Big Mario! Oh, I'm gonna waste it. Ah! Go quick, Mario. Go quick, go quick. Oops. Well, that didn't last very long. Uh. Well, I mean, I don't know what I was supposed to use my yeah, big power for. Yeah, those little guys, those are little, like, squirmy people. Just little... 
monster guys, I guess you would say. I'm not really sure. Oops. They're from the Mario franchise, I know that, but they're just like well, basically, paper enemies. I got a box big enough to hold three things of tea and then I could put the ornament on top. But then when I got the apple chips, I realized that it won't fit three things of tea and the apple chips. Hmm. So I'd have to give them like two things of tea and an apple chip. Or I'd have to save the apple chips for like and plus their plus their ornament. Thing. Yeah, it won't have a room to put everything. Mm. Unless I give your parents of mine like a um like a like a New Year's thing with like some food items. No, nope. level up. Another thing. Mm -hmm. That's very cool. Okay, I don't know what type of door that is. Hmm. Princess Reconnect. I don't know what that is. I think that's like anime. Oh, I can only do that by going in and out. Oh, can we put them, uh, the, um, mem our P.O. Box in the Members Community tab again? I'm sure. Yeah. I think we can do that. Boop. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think I know how Danny and Evelyn end up. There were several other doors that you walked past this, Ben. My bad. We I, could I do just, it for Patreon people. No, I just realized how you get people's address. They send you something and then you send it back. Oh, that's why they send it to people. It's whoever has sent it. Yeah, people, I guess you send, people send fan mail and stuff like that and then you, you send the thing back to them and you have their address and you send them a Christmas card or something. I think that's how people do it. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm just guessing. Oh, I have all my... You're very kind to let me have all my stuff over there, because it's making a huge mess on the What's up? You mean your card? Your craft card things? You're fine. You're fine. I'm fine. I need to jump up on this pipe. Okay. Um, did we say on the air about the person moving or no? What person moving? No, never mind. Huh? Somebody moved? Yeah, you told me we sent a gift and somebody moved. <laughs> Greetings, young explorer. Welcome to this remote land. You must be bushed. Oh, yeah? it's, a, it's a sheep. Why? No, oh, no reason. Um, I'm what's known as an active senior explorer. The name's Blappy, and I'm 72. I'm 72 years old. In my youth, while everyone hunted for snacks, I hunted for big treasure of space. Mm. It's big, it's treasure, and it will be mine at last. I found a clue in the space ruins. To explore, to explore, I'll cut you a deal. Blog, uh, this clue for 1,000 coins. You buy? Too rich for my blood. I don't know how much money I even have. Deal. Just say you're going to buy it and then see if you have enough. Okay. Uh -uh. Not enough coins. Go get some coins before I change my mind. Oh. Oh. Wow, that's going to be a while. How many coins do we need? A thousand. Oh, wow. We only have 400. I thought I was actually doing really well on the coin front. But nope. Apparently not. That is... Oh. That is a bummer. Okay, so let's go back through the door. Okay, Ben says we missed several doors. Okay. It maxes out at 999. LOL says Ben the Rosalina fan. So there's no way we could ever get a thousand. No. You cannot possibly have a thousand coins this time. Oh no. Mm. I guess we'll never get to buy his tip then. You're hyped for a Mario trailer this week? Awesome, Isaiah. Mario trailers are great. The spiked guys were from the first Paper Mario game where they say Mjork, says OH. Oh, very cool. Mjork? Thank you, OH. In case you guys didn't see, I've been watching Princess Connect. Awesome, uh, Austin. That's fantastic. Hope you're enjoying that. Wait, go back to the old man and just say too red for my blood, says Omerald. You can make the price smaller, says 
blue ant. You guys said we missed some doors, though. We were planning on going back to look for doors. Whoops. Did that, did that not work? Oh. Okay. It's a door. You went through that door, didn't you? Uh, oh. Oh! There's a whole other section up here. Ah. Okay. Is this what? Oh, I didn't go through this door. I go through this door. Search for doors. Another alien's house. Uh, I think that's a girl alien. Oh, Bloog, aren't you fancy? Let me guess, you're hunting the treasure too, right? Mm-hmm. Well, go look for the elder. He knows stuff about things. Me, I plan on lounging. She's Fair. just gonna lounge. She doesn't have anything to steal. Okay. I mean, not that we would steal, obviously. Yeah, I'll have to make a picture of my, um, my, my crafts that I'm making for, for, um, uh, for Christmas. Hmm. I'll show you guys online. Yeah, her crafts are really cool. She's made wanna... little lamb ornaments. Well, I was gonna make lamb ornaments. I haven't yet. I made the wreath ones. But, well, I found out how people make spiral yarn, and it's kind of not safe. The way they do it. Like, they take yarn and they make it spiral so they can make it into lamb's wool. Oh. But the way they do it, I don't feel is a safe method. But I was gonna do it, but I didn't want to tell them. Okay. Basically, they use the oven to do it. Oh. Well, I can't buy the guy's clue. Guess the game's unbeatable is dead. Wait, I, I didn't say that. Uh, <laughs> this game is glitched. Uh -huh. Thank you, Ben. Yeah, I'll just tell you guys because I need something to talk about, but we'll have, we'll have to mind control Luke later to make him forget. Because I want, I really do want to do it. Basically, um, well, I found out that the way people make these, like, special... Well, there's two different kinds of ornaments that I can make that are pretty easy. One is you cut orange slices, and then you put it in the oven to dehydrate the oranges in the oven. Mm -hmm. And then they become, like, dried oranges, and then you attach, like, a cinnamon stick to it mm. and tie a piece of string, and it looks really pretty. Put a bow on it. And, and oranges and are food, so that is, the problem. Yeah, that's, that's a normal thing. Mm. But then for the other things, to make the yarn spirally so it can look like wool, they take, like, the skewer stick, you know, where you barbecue, uh, you know where you make, like, um... What are those things? Kebabs? Mm -hmm. The wooden kebab sticks, the little spheres, tiny little sticks. Mm -hmm. You can get like, I don't know, 20 of them in a pack for like a dollar. They spin the wool around that, the yarn, mm -hmm. really tight. Mm -hmm. And then tie the knot on both sides. Mm -hmm. And then they put water on it. They put it in a sheet tray with water. And then they drain the water off after the yarn is soaked. Then they put the yarn in their oven at 100 degrees Fahrenheit for an hour. An yeah. hour. Yeah. An hour. And I watched four or five different videos on how to make spiraled yarn. And every single video was exactly the same. They all used the oven. And some people put it on 200 degrees Fahrenheit. The yarn in the oven with the wood spears yeah that's a fire hazard. i i know but i was gonna try it because i really desperately wanted to make the lamb ornaments and i don't want to pay ten dollars for spiraled yarn from etsy.com i just want to buy a dollar thing of yarn and make my own spiral yarn. Yeah, that's, that's not maybe i could lay the spirals out in the sun instead of putting them in the oven that would probably be better you could do that. I feel like that would be safer. I think putting yarn or wood in your oven 
like for an hour unattended, I feel like that would be. You can do the orange slices things because that would smell nice, actually. That'd make and the then house you smell you nice. get some cinnamon and you tie it with some string, and then mm -hmm. if you want, you could put a bell or a bow. Did you know you can get like you can get like thirty little bells like this big for only a dollar. Mm. So literally, like making your own ornaments. If you can find a cool way to make your own ornaments, like. And it doesn't even have to be that hard. Like, I just saw that they have gnome ornaments that you can make that are pretty easy. Mm. All you have to do is get a bunch of yarn to make the beard and, and loop the yarn over, like, a little ring for the hat. And you don't have to sew anything. You just glue it on and, and you glue one bead on for the nose and you're done. You made a gnome. So how do you hook up, uh, or how do you heat up the orange slices? So you cut the slices and then you, you just... Some people, like, basically take the paper towels and then drain as much juice out of the orange as possible. Some people don't. Okay. Because I always watch several of the same thing. That way I get an idea of what everyone's doing, like, the general idea of it. So I probably watch three or four tutorials on how to make orange slice ornaments. But I was thinking if I made a bunch of cute little ornaments, like, I could not I could make, like, different ones. And then you and I, our whole tree could be my homemade ornaments. Yeah. And then we wouldn't have to go to Target and buy overpriced homemade ornaments. Because a lot of the ornaments at Target are like homemade looking ornaments, but they're like $7 a piece, where you could probably make that for 45 cents if you made it at home. Mm. And it really wouldn't be that hard. There's another kind of ornament where you basically just take a piece of cardboard, literally cut it out from any cardboard you have, a cardboard box, anything in the shape of a tree and then you just wrap yarn and glue it on the tree like you just wrap the yarn around it mm -hmm. and then put like three different little like beads on it for the for the tree for the christmas and then you have a christmas tree ornament mm. well you have to put like a string for where it can loop onto the tree but like that's super cheap that'll probably cost you like 25 cents and it looks really nice Ooh. yeah i know i was finding a lot of those things because it's like I don't know, no offense, but like of all of our family members, I think I'm the most creative, so I think like I could really make, I don't want to say make a killing, but like they'll be like, how did you do that? And I'm never going to say. I also really wanted to make that spiral ribbon stuff. You know the stuff your family was like, no, Amber didn't make that on her own. It's like, and I'm going to find a square thing so I can make the square like ribbon on my own and then when they're like oh and then when you call them and you're like oh by the way Amber made this and then they're gonna be like no she didn't it's like yes yeah, she did mm -hmm. I figured out how to make the square kind because last time because they were really I hated that oh they were really mean and they were like oh Amber didn't make this kind but I made all the others I made all the other ribbons I just didn't make that one square one I'm gonna conquer my fear of that and make the square one so yeah, I found several different types of ornaments. Gnome ones, Christmas tree, um, yeah. Very interesting. Gnome, Christmas tree, orange slices. The orange slices one would be so easy because an orange is like 50 cents. So you get like five or six oranges, just get some, get one of those containers that has cinnamon sticks in it mm. and you're all set. You're literally all set. Like, that would be so easy. Just hang orange. Also, it smells good because you're actually going to smell the smell of orange and cinnamon on your tree. So, honestly, one thing I really want to get is I want to put a tree right there in our living room. I don't care if Zelda attacks it. I miss having a tree at Christmas. Okay. And then if I if I get all my homemade ornaments, then I don't have to pay for ornaments for the tree. Plus, we have a few ornaments downstairs. Yeah. And then I could make you an ornament every year, or I was gonna order. You can order one for like five dollars on Amazon, where you order like a porcelain ornament of yourself, mm -hmm. and it has like two people and a cat, and then they can write the name of your cat and you, like in the little spaces, so it's like personalized. So I could get one every year for that. So yeah, that's what I was... I really wanted to make my own spiral yarn, though. I think it would work. I mean, yeah, I could start the kitchen on fire, but I really do think it would work. No, we can't. We can't do the... You can't, you can't do the, the yarn in the oven. You can do the... Um, 
Maybe I could just set the yarn outside. Yeah, you can do the. the I wonder if the, it would do the same. You can do the oranges, no problem. That wouldn't be a problem. Any type of food item is fine. We don't have that type of stove, and if we ruined it, our uh, landlord would get us. Like they'd be like, "What are you doing, putting stuff in there that's not?" Food? Yeah. Well, landlord, you don't even know what the yarn is nice. made out of, because some yarn has a little bit of plastic in it. Yeah, no. That, so yeah. that's like another thing, because if it's like made of rayon and stuff, that's a type of plastic. Yeah. Or polyester. Uh, oh. Customer rare look. Why not take a load off of moving? It's tiring. What? Space byway. Haven't seen one. Haven't eaten one either. Uh, we're in too much of a hurry. Space is endless. You ought to take your time. I thought he was a cust uh, shop owner. Here, I'll show you what the orange one looks like. That's so cool, and Ben said that the apple chips are good with apple cinnamon. That's the exact kind I got, Ben, was the apple cinnamon. In fact, they had several different kinds of apple chips at the store. They had golden apple chips, they had Granny Smith apple chips, they had regular apple chips, and they had apple cinnamon. And that's the kind they got was apple cinnamon. So Ben has confirmed that that is good. I'm so excited to try them. So I'm gonna go to the store t uh, tomorrow, Look, I'm gonna get five more bags of them that way you and I can snack on healthy apple chips. Okay. Then, then I don't like buying nice things for people when I can't even buy something nice for my own husband. You deserve the most apple chips. Do you want me to make you a little homemade gift with tea in it and apple chips so you can open it on Christmas? Oh, you found your keys. Do you want me to do that? Uh, I don't, I don't I think know. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna make you a good Christmas thing. Hey Ben, where's the old man? I can't find the old man again. Like, he's just kinda gone. Oh, okay, never mind. This is it. Okay, so here- oh, you can also put, uh, like, you can also put cloves in it, or star anise. Wait, Ben is saying this stream is being recommended to people? What are you talking about, Ben? Awesome. I hope so. I mean, that would be good. So here's what the ornaments look like. Do these not look like the cutest ornaments you have ever seen? Those are homemade. Yeah, that's somebody cut the slice of orange, put it in the oven, they put a tiny little sprig of, like, Oh, I was thinking you actually rosemary. cut out, uh, you, like, cut out the orange itself. You actually keep the orange in there. That'll keep bugs away from your tree, too, because bugs Yeah, you citrus. just slice the orange, and then you, oh. literally, the ornament is an orange. There's nothing to it. It's literally an orange with a huh. cinnamon stick on it, and, I mean, what did you think it was? Honestly, I thought you were going to carve out an orange. No. And then put it in the oven, and then it gets all hard. And also, if you get different kinds of put citrus, the cinnamon inside of it. see if you get grapefruit, it looks like that. Mm. So you can get different kinds. You can put lemon, whatever you want. Here's one where they add like a little sprig of sage or something. Do a little sprig of something and a yeah. cinnamon stick. And they Literally, get, that so they not, get they get really hard and they don't yeah, become food they anymore. they don't become food. It's dry. So, like, some people just do it. Here's somebody who literally just did that. Hmm. They literally just put an orange and a string on it. That was the entire world. Okay, so they didn't even cook it. Oh, no. That is cooked, I think. Okay. Supposedly. I don't know how good a job somebody... Here, this is, this is what it mainly looks like. Here you go. This is what I mean, except for I'd put like a string or something or a bow on it. Mm. Like that, like literally, it is so cheap to make, basically. No, they're supposed to cook it. Like, it's supposed to be. There, this, it's supposed to look like this. It's supposed to look dry. And that's supposed to last forever. Like, it will never go bad or anything. Like, it literally just becomes, like, an ornament. Like, that looks like an orange. Oh. Okay, here we go. So we gotta talk see, to the old man again. This is what it looks like, see? This this is what it looks like after it's dry. Mm-hmm. It's dried orange. Yeah. But just put it... It looks better with a cinnamon stick on it. I thought you were gonna hollow it out, so that makes more sense. Okay. No, you have the whole oranges right there. Yeah, I see that. 
Yeah, what? You want to buy a clue? That's very smart of you. Now all kids, brats, whatever. Explore, explore, I'll sell it. Uh, I'll buy it. Yeah, that's great. Uh, the scroll word scribbled on it. By Rockman's noggin, when your outer space is reversed, the door's secret hides. What? Oh, oh, Ben gave gifted memberships. Oh, wow. Thank you so much, Ben. You're breathtaking. I'm through with you. Oh. Donation train. Thank you, Ben. You're amazing. Uh, Skeletor is going to go off. Oh, for... thank you, Ben. That's, that's a $25 donation plus... The membership, thank you, Ben, for your generosity and keeping this channel on the air and helping us get recommended today. You're amazing, Ben. Once our channel goes up in views, we'll never forget you. But if it never goes back in, up in views again, we love you still. You're amazing, Ben. Thank you so much. You're breathtaking, Rosalina. Fan. Oh, the Jeff jammed up. Really? Oh yeah, the just having problems. Okay. Alrighty. Um, I thought I could find some better looking ones to show you. Mine are gonna look better than any of the ones that are online. Mm. You got an ancient clue. A paper with clues about the location of space tra treasure. <gasps> I said you're breathtaking, Rosalina. Oh. You're breathtaking, Ben the Rosalina fan. Ben says <laughs> Rosalina is breathtaking too. And Rosalina is breathtaking too. That, pa yes. that paper he just gave us is a paper that person's going to use for toilet paper. I'm through with you, Sonny. Go away, Skinny. <laughs> They're literally going to use that paper as toilet paper. Important things. I just, I started to get frustrated because I, I realized nobody's going to care about all the work I was doing. With your... No, with your stuff, I, I think that, that grandma would probably really like it. She loves arts and crafts stuff. I hope so, but no, she knows who you are. She forgot my name. She called me Tyler. Isaiah says, I love Rosalina too. Thank you, Gio, says I care about your work. That's very sweet, Gio. Thank you so much. Alright, guys, tomorrow... I don't know when we'll put the P.O. Box in. I have to find it and scroll down. Thanks, Sub-Zero. I appreciate that. So pretty much that paper we got, that's going to be toilet paper. It says it's for a special space treasure. Here. Yeah, I'm I don't know. It's, it's October, honey. I haven't even thought about it. I have anything. to get it all done because in, in November I'm going to start dressing like crazy. Okay. Alright, that's fine. And I need to have like a pile of things that are ready to go out. Okay. That way I don't have a mount when I'm done. Okay. That's okay. I, I, will, I will look on the internet and see if there's anything I want for Christmas. No, it's okay. I'll just get you a Rocky t-shirt since you haven't told me. No, I'm actually pretty triggered with the whole Rocky thing. I don't, I don't like the. I'm ah, fine. I'll just tell you. So th there's a, there's a lot of bad stuff going on in, in Power Rangers right now. Oh gosh. Like, Rocky is coming back to be uh, the Red Ranger in the 30th anniversary of Power Rangers, along with Walter, David, Catherine, and Trini's daughter. Wait, why wouldn't they have Austin St. John come back? Austin St. John is not allowed to u leave the country, and they're filming in New Zealand. He's because what do you mean, not a lot of fun? his court case is next year, and the judge will allow him to fly anywhere in the U.S. and Canada, but he won't allow him to go to New Zealand because he's a flight risk. Even though Austin didn't do it, like wow. Austin still has to go to court to prove so his innocence. So he's gonna miss because of the court case. He's gonna miss this court. Right, and not only that, but Boom Studios and their infinite wisdom, they had Jason lose his connection to the morphing grid completely in order to save the power rangers universe and now trini is the red omega ranger and jason is very distraught because he lost his morphing powers but people are saying well he'll probably end up becoming the gold ranger but then 
the Boom Studios people said, well, we're going to be doing Zeo different, so it doesn't mean that Jason will essentially become the Gold Ranger now that he's on Earth again. So it's just like... That's kind of a kick when Austin is already it down. It feels like the people are kind of like, aha, we got something against ASJ, so we're going to get rid of his character in the comics even now, if, too. Even That's if what it feels like. Well, I don't really want to get into it, but it's kind of controversial, but even if he ends up being guilty, it's still kind of mean to do that before he's even proven guilty or innocent. Mm-hmm. Like, I feel like you should be innocent until proven guilty. But anyways, uh, back to Paper Mario. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. That happened today. Mm. It was all people were gloating on the internet that don't like uh, the Jason character. Oh, yeah, people are like that sometimes. I'm excited for Sparks of Hope coming out. And there's another Rabbids game that came out recently. And it's 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 for sale on the Switch, but you can play the free demo. Thing. So the that, free demo thing. And I yeah. need to open that box for somebody gave us a somebody gave us their indie game. So I'm kind of nervous because it is another farming simulator game, uh. which I think we already played farming simulators to death. We have Animal Crossing, we have Disney Dreamlight Valley. We've got so many farming simulators going on. Cat Cafe is essentially a life sim farm simulator. There's like so many farm sim things that literally like there's not... This is like the year of farming simulators. Like. Okay, here we go. This is... Oh, I'm beeping. Sorry, I can't hear my TV very well. So I need to use a well, healing item. This is what I was thinking next year. If I don't have a lot of money hmm. for ornaments and I want to save money, instead of do going all out in these wreath ornaments, which does take a lot of time and energy, mm -hmm. the next year I'm just gonna give people orange slices that are dehydrated with a cinnamon stick That's as an ornament. Cool. Honestly, it looks pretty though. Yeah. Alright, here we go. Any paper, please, amore. Just a sheet for me, amore. Implore, implore, amore. Papers of papers of more, loves the papers of more, oh more, oh more, oh more. Uh, give the ancient clue. A paper with clues mm. about the location of space treasure. That was beautiful. Uh, thank you. I feel like strumming an Italian guitar behind that or a ukulele. No, using the paper. Sleep has awaited for you, at last we meet, amore, my sweet, sweet paper, amore. Da, 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 da. And now we do part, amore, for down you depart, amore, no more, no more, amore. I can't take it anymore, we'll bust the evacuation, all personnel. It was a little, oh, that was weird. ah, relief. It's a paper miracle. Flip is a flea in a good. You bring flip, <laughs> flip, 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 flip the happy. Flip has been awaiting for long for you. Amore, sis for this momento. Yeah, he's Italian. We pixels are helpful tools, see? But no, we choose masters, but they good or bad. Still, Fleep has passion to be used for something, so Fleep wanted here, Amore. And you found Fleep, Amore! Oh, thank you, Deep Amore. From this momento, you and Fleep are one. We shall never part. Fleep follows you, Amore! Companion, true, Amore! He sings a lot. There you go. Hooray. Uh, thank you for this super chat, Sub-Zero. The reversible pixel named Fleep joined your group use fleep and you can turn over sections of the screen something might be good hiding back there okay on the back side of the sad is the happy we will find you and fleep amore enough with the singing he didn't use any paper phew squirps needed that okay let's go look for the entry to the space bypass squibble um, you guys didn't use the paper, it won't open. We actually don't want it to open. So how do I use this new ability from this guy? Yeah, that guy has a... Thank you, Sub-Zero, for the super chat! You're breathtaking, Sub-Zero! Thank you so much! Hope you're having a great day, Sub-Zero. Thank you so much! 
And thank you, Ben, the Rosalina fan, for sponsoring one of the happiest series ever. This, this one and Grandi are like my favorite ones. And, um, thank you, Ben. Honestly, I was having a rough day today, but I'm actually feeling a lot better playing Paper Mario now. Because it's just such a happy, fun game, and I'm feeling really happy. And it is bright and colorful. I think we have to go to where that screw attack symbol was. I just don't remember where it was. No, that's not it. Hmm? An alarm clock? I don't know what that does. I, just, I would like us to have a really nice Christmas, but I don't know if it'll work out. Hmm? I hope it will. I think it will. I mean, we can, if you want to get stuff done in October before... Well, before, we should do that. Whoops. It's a little pumpkin pie in the freezer from last Christmas. Ooh. I don't know if so good No, now. I don't think so. Mm, I just wanted to save money by not... Usually six months is about how long the freezer stuff lasts. Yeah. Actually, it might be less. It might be three months. Then I guess I, I could probably get some things out of the freezer. Huh. I don't mind if you turn in that game. Huh. Oh! Oh! You got it! That was- okay. Use the door key thing on the, uh, I don't even remember where the key is. Is it down here? No. Hmm. That was actually kind of a long space level. Uh, I think the thing is back this way. That's not right. It's yeah, it's back. It's it's back. All the way back, 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 back. Weird statue thing. Nope. Uh. All right. I'm pretty sure. Why not this section? Very fine. Good. And. It should be right over here. Bingo! Okay, use the door key. Uh, use the door key on the planet. There we go! Oops, I forgot to save. Oopsies, I forgot to save. That isn't oopsies. Weird dancing monsters. Alright, this chapter's done. Good. We're still looking for the space bypass, but that is the end of this chapter. Nice. Moving on. Uh, do you want to save your progress? Yes. Yes, I do. Now save. Save complete. Mario and his friends headed to the space bypass in search of the pure heart. How did Squirps know about this secret route? Our heroes started, uh, stared suspiciously at him. Why are you staring like that? said Squirps. Are you falling for Squirps? In the darkness of space, the eyes of Squirps glinted mischievously. Which brings us to chapter 4-3. The Gates of Space. Oh. Mm. Gates of Space. The Gates of Space. Oh, there's a little Mario floating. <clears throat> uh, this is the space bypass. Yeah, from somewhere in here we can enter the whoa zone. Come on, space grunt, look for the entrance squirk squeak. The whoa zone? You simply must be kidding with me. I demand answers. Oh wait, is that the Yeah that that was a little thing. That was tippy or whatever. Mm -hmm. It's prohibitive zone. Squirp calls it the space graveyard yeah. It's a complicated maze. They say once you go in, you can never get out. And supposedly, the pure heart is hidden at the very back of that maze. How did you know that? Who are you, really? Do you... You incontinent little imp? Uh-oh, he's hungry now. Or incompetent. Oh, no! I made some room with that pit stop. Now I'm hungry. But don't worry about that, Space Grunt. Find the Woe Zone entrance. Wow. 
Oh, it's gonna stay here. Right, now I want to use Bowser again, because Bowser's fun. There we go. Bowser just looks funnier. Can I... Is that? Okay, that didn't do anything. Oh, you found a shooting star. You don't have... You have too much stuff. Oh. Uh, throw something away. I don't know. Stopwatch, a wacky item that stops enemies in their tracks. Mm. That's probably useful. Dried shroom doesn't look very important. Uh, dried shroom restores 1 HP and cures poison. Mm, it doesn't look that important. Yeah. You have a point. Alright, so we're getting rid of the dried shroom now. Alright, so let's use a uh, shroom shake. I'm going to grab the dried shroom sitting in space. Oops, I didn't get it back in time, but that's okay. There'll be other items. Don't worry about it. Let's go, Bowser! Our landlord really wants to put food in the oven, not things that could burn it down. Like, it would avoid our lease, or not just our lease, but also, like, they probably wouldn't count it as accidental. As, you know, put something in that's not food. But why is it all these crap people always doing these dangerous things and they all do the same thing? They have their own house. Mm. Or they're not. Well, I wouldn't want to burn my own house for me. Yeah. Oh, this is cute. Look, you can make a wreath of dried oranges. Make a wreath out of dried oranges? Whoa! That looks pretty, doesn't it? Yeah. Doesn't look like a very holiday wreath. Yeah, but you said you don't allow... You don't want me to have flower wreaths outside the house. That's true. But you said it attracts bees. Would oranges attack, attract bees? No, oranges... The citrus, like, uh, makes... We should put a wreath outside our door of our room and then it would repel Zelda. Ah! <laughs> Maybe. Whoa! I did something. But I don't want to lose my little alien buddy. Oh, I don't have a choice. I'm gonna lose my little alien friend. Okay, I'm gonna stick him in there. Squirtle, this hole! What a lovely shape, Squirt! I don't know why, but I... Uh, I'm sorry. I want to be squeezed into there. Someone squish me in. <laughs> squish him. Squish him. Let's do it. Squirp! Whoa. What is that thing? It's a space gate, Squirp. These lead from the space bypass to the wall zone. Through the gate is the way forward. Space grunts! Huh. Okay, I guess we're going forward. <laughs> Bowser just looks like he's having a good time. Even though he's a bad guy, he's having fun doing this game. Whoop, he's enjoying Look just floating in space. Look at his tiny feet, though. His feet are so small. Oh no, his feet are big as the tips of his toes that are small. Weird. People put. Look at this. People take dried oranges and then they put them in their water or like, like soda later. Like they save dried stuff and then they put it in their. But it's not editable drink? anymore. I don't know. Uh, People do weird stuff, Luke. The internet is a weird place. Yeah, they do. Another wonderful shape. Uh, Must get twisted into someone. Twist me in. Okay. And twist him into it. Yep. For the next death battle is SpongeBob and Aquaman. Interesting. Mm. Something, something's missing. Definitely, I can't shake it. There's only one solution. That's right. Squirps must eat something yummy. Squirps will not move until Squirps eat something good. This I declare. Oh 
Okay, so we have to find him food. Well, convenient sign is convenient. Oh, chosen one! What will you desire? This strange alien desires something sweet that starts with Cho and ends with Let. This will open the way. I don't have any chocolate. Oh no. Okie doke. But I don't have any powers. This could be bad. Oh my gosh, that's so weird. Did oh. I save? <gasps> uh... Oh my gosh, look at this. They're selling five orange slices with a piece of string on them for $30. Wow. For that set of five orange slices. Wow. Well, I mean, I can dry some oranges. Wait, who's Barry? Oh. You dropped your phone, it sounds like. With good timing to defend and counter attacks. What is Barry? Mm, I don't know. Oh. That's what Barry is. Oh, looks like everyone's favorite is Goombella right now. So let us know in the chat. You can also use Barry to deflect enemy attacks. Awesome, Ben. There's a link to the members community tab. Yep, there is. Ow. Yep, thank you, Ben. Um, yep, there's a link in the members community tab, guys. Uh, for the next death battle, SpongeBob Aqua Fun Fact. Thank you, Trayvon, for the super chat. They're gonna do SpongeBob vs. Aqua, a death battle. I never thought they would do it. Wow, versus Aquaman. I mean, I would think that Aquaman would just step on SpongeBob. He's pretty small. Yeah, people have to understand that. He lives that in a pineapple. Death Battle isn't owned by Screw Attack anymore. Mm. Craig sold the rights and went to work with another company that failed. And then uh, Ben and Chad mm. stayed, and they ended up working for either Funimation owns Death Battle or Rooster Teeth does. Thank you. Whoops. Amber, we have an Arabic saying, which means you enter the heart. Oh, thank you. That's very sweet. Thank you so much, Sub Zero. That's very kind. Oh, enter my heart too, Sub Zero. Thank you so much. That's a very kind saying. It says it is expired. Okay, we will fix it when we get a second, guys and girls. That's expired. We, on we only can do what we can do, so we'll fix it in a couple days when we get a chance. Oh, the Discord link isn't working? Mm -hmm. We'll have Ooh, to get, there... we'll get a new one from Vic when you get the chance. Yeah, I may do the members, some of the members' community stream, like some of the members' appreciation things. I know everyone's gonna hate me, but I may end up doing some of them on Wednesdays instead of Sunday. Because I just. I have just. I just have enough energy. Do you like my ideas of the orange slices? Mm hmm. I'm not finding any chocolate in space. I might be doing this wrong. Oh, another save for me. Uh, oh, you guys are having a great day, everyone. And Luke, Amber, and Luke, are you two going to react to the Mario, Mario movie trailer? Thank you, um, Trayvon. Thank you so much. Aquaman will have a hard time because SpongeBob can regenerate like it is nothing. Oh, wow. Thank you, Trayvon. Oh, wow. So, SpongeBob is like tiny little So, it seems. Oh, my gosh, what? 
Oh! Well, I'm excited because Ben said those apple cinnamon chips were good. Good. So I'm gonna get some more. I didn't even know you would want any. I thought they were like healthy stuff, so I didn't know you would like. Mm. I just really wanted to go to Panera Bread and get some more salad today and stay home and wait to do my sleep. I remember, like, you needed lactate, so I tried to put it in the Thank you, Trayvon. I really appreciate that so much. Thank you guys for 120 likes. You guys are amazing. So, you want me to be Mario because Mario's smaller. You have to have a smaller character, says Jacob Langley. Okay. Some sponges can regenerate from being liquefied overnight, says Richard. Oh, wow, Richard Taylor. That's pretty crazy. I think that's chocolate. So, I'm going to tell you about a recipe I learned today from Martha Stewart when I was watching. You put butter in the pan, and then you put some sugar in it, and then you put some apple slices in the pan and onion slices. And then... You put a little salt, and then you put cabbage, red cabbage, and then you sit, let it sit for 20 minutes and cook, and it's supposed to be really good. Mm -hmm. Red cabbage with apples. Mm. Oh. What? That wasn't chocolate. You, what was the chocolate? That wasn't chocolate. That was, uh, was a power that I don't need. Whoops. Try berry. Look. Oh. I bet I could get cinnamon sticks cheap off Amazon. No, the cinnamon sticks off Amazon? Yeah. You can also put like a little star in these into the orange so it has a little star in the middle of it. Mm. Yep, I was right. Look at this, you can get a pound, 1.75 pounds of cinnamon sticks. Literally two pounds of cinnamon sticks in a bag. That's amazing. Cinnamon sticks are not cheap, but you can get that cheap off Amazon. And if you're not really using it for food, I mean, it doesn't really matter if someone like poisons it or something. You're not really going to eat it anyway. Let's hope people that you're giving it to are gonna eat it. Well, I I know for one I'm not gonna eat it, so. Mm. Yeah, you're always safe. That's one of the things I really liked about you. Mm. When I first met you, it was like you were always more cautious and safe. Because I know so many people that aren't cautious and safe. Mm. Like. I don't know how to explain it, but basically growing up in a kind of bad neighborhood and sometimes like my, my mom would be like, okay, if somebody rings the doorbell late at night and your mom and dad aren't here, kids, make sure that you guys don't make any sounds. Do not answer the door. Don't let them think that anyone is home. Mm. Be quiet and do not talk. Oh. And I would always follow their directions. My brothers wouldn't. They would just do whatever. And then I noticed, like, when I when I met you, and I think there was something that happened one time, and you were very quiet, and you were cautious. Mm -hmm. I was like, wow, Luke actually is very, like, you actually are very cautious about things. Have a twinkly day. Welcome to Twinkly Mart. If you're, if we're not closed, we're open. Whoa, I was so lonely since our grand reopening. You're the first customer. I think I should have thought about location more than I, when I bought this place. What you looking for today? Just grab whatever grabs, garbs your eye, grabs your eye. Uh, which which chocolate bar? Ben, which bar? Mm, golden. Get the golden one. We want the golden one. I think Ben wants you to to do the bar that speaks to you. Golden! We want it! Golden Choco Bar! 
See, this is why you're different than me. You want the gold I one? Always, I always want to figure things out on my own. You always like to ask people for advice. Well, it took me... That's a, why we're different. It took me a long time to find where this was. Oh, so if you I don't want to mess no, it up. No, if I get the wrong chocolate bar or something like that. What if you figure. What if you get the wrong one? Can't you just get another one later? It'd take me 30 minutes to get back here and I don't know how Oh, I you only it. get one choice? Yeah. I actually think about getting food off of Amazon all the time. They have really cheap, like, energy shakes on Amazon. You can actually buy, like... Since it's free delivery for us, since Luke and I do like the business stuff because we have Amazon Prime, I don't have to pay anything, so I could actually get n freshly made noodle salad off of Amazon. I don't know how. How would they have freshly made noodle salad in the warehouse? Uh oh. I don't know, but it looks good to me. We don't have any room. We have to get rid of some stuff. Oh, let's see. Items. Shell shock. And if I buy a thing of twine this year, I'll have it for the next five years because I don't need very much of it. Now that's just HP. This is gonna be my, my own little business. This will be my next channel. Making Christmas ornaments for cheap. Wow, Dolph Quick, thank you so much for the super chat. Oh, it's Winkly Day. What do you thank want? Thank you, Dolph Quick, you're breathtaking. The golden chocolate bar, huh? Need anything else? Nope. Well, Color me Twinkle Pink! It gets lonely here. Come again, please. See, I got... want to see what I got for... I was going to make for lamb stuff. Mm. Mm, I'll show you. I'll show you. Well, basically, lambs have different colored faces. Some of them have, like, cream color faces. Some of them have, like, more, like... Like they, some of them are like more gray or black. So they have different colors. So I was gonna put different color faces on the lambs, and then their wool is gonna be white. But I think some lambs have black wool. I don't know. I'm gonna have to look that up. I was trying to find a lamb ornament that looked cute. All right, thank you, Dolph Click. You're amazing. Thank you so much. You're breathtaking, Dolph Click. It says victory. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Hmm. I know. I'll, I'll, you know. I'll spend lots of work on, on the 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 um lamb and the in the in the wreath ornaments. And then if somebody's mean to me and they're like, "Oh, you gave me a homemade ornament," then next year they get a orange with a string on it, a slice of orange, and that's it. Yeah. I wish I could take you some more nice for Christmas. We could go somewhere nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Zelda's just completely out. Yep, Zelda's out. I think I'm supposed to go back in this door again. I think mm -hmm. I got teleported by accident. Oh, you're a cute little tiny Mario. You're so cute. It's a me, Mario. Yeah, that was a great um, poll question you had, Ben. That was very cute. Thank you, Dolph Quick, for the super chat. Donation train. Ben, I don't remember how to get back. It's kind of annoying. Talk you donation! Talk you donation! Hmm. I think this is it. Oh, you're here to. Oh, okay, you're rebuilding your girlfriend's home all day. In Florida. Oh wow, that's really nice of you, Dozen R. Well, I hope uh, things work out. You can buy multiples, says Ben. Thank you, Ben. Says you can buy multiples of that chocolate bar. Hey, kind of lost. 
Oh. In space. Well, why don't I try to figure it out? Okay. I'm just, I'm just trying to find your way back I'm... toward the alien doors. do this you just fly around try to avoid enemies and get mm. back to where the squid is all right I'm I'm flying around mm, try not to run into enemies as best you can. Mm. guess I'm gonna grab another brisk ice tea yes. <sighs> try going in that portal see what that takes me and the little squid is inside of us Oh, Luke, if you're out of brisk, I bought some more. It's in the car. And all of Zelda's cat food is in the car. Good thing I, um, nothing. Good thing I contacted my sister-in-law because I'm, I'm sending the card out right now. Yeah. And I contacted my brother and my sister-in-law, but only my, my brother he never responds to me. He never answers me. Like, I don't exist. Mm, it's okay, it's just... Ben says he doesn't want to hold our hand, he wants us to figure it out. A little bit. Well, I don't think we're lost. Not all who wander are lost. Do you want to save your progress? Yes. Do not turn. All right. Thank you for the highlighted message. Thank you so much. BG Shine says, "Imagine if Mario movie was live action and Chris Pratt had to wear overalls and a fishbowl for an outer space scene. That would be funny." BG Shine. Thank you, BG Shine. Red portal, says Blue Ant. Okay, we're looking for the um, red portals. Try not to run into the enemies. Okay, guys, I'm doing my best here. Oh. Yeah, I can imagine Chris Pratt in space. Oh, gosh. Oh gosh. Oh my god. Well, this isn't red. Yeah, we can just use that. Also, I made the, the background of that look bad. I didn't... Yeah? So... Yeah, but can we... Can we make Moana like her? She looks like she's in a shadow. Maybe I can like edit her a little bit. Okay. We found the red portal. Yeah. They, they said uh, you. You can try it today. They're over there on the stove. I'll just buy more. Do not turn off the power. Oh, you're fine. Just, I remember getting food for people before and getting like chocolates and stuff. And then people were like, Blue Block can't have this. They're on a special diet. It's like, well, I. And then at the same time, you go to their house and they have chocolates and cookies. It's like, well, if they're on a special diet, it's only for my gift, but apparently you guys can buy stuff. Mm. Mm. Do you want to save your progress? Uh, yes. I think I already did that. Yeah, you saved your progress. You can just go through the thing. They said the... Oh yeah, perfect. Yep, just go back and talk to the squid. Chosen one, what will fulfill the strange alien's desire? Chocolate. Something sweet that starts with... No, go away. Honestly, I think... 
There he is. I think aliens would want to eat chocolate here because... Ah, so hungry, it can't move. And Squirps can't move, but very slowly, Squirps needs to eat something yummy. Chocolate bar. Golden chocolate there. bar. Remember one of the golden chocolate bar. Is gourmet. You think I'd be satisfied by something like this? Well, you went to all this trouble, Space Grunt, so I don't want to, but... He didn't want the golden one, did he? Chomp. This is... It smells delightful. It tastes delightful. It's perfectly perfect. Oh, Squirt can't see through tears of joy. Oh. <laughs> He's crying because he loves it so much. Too good! Mm, that's my cooking food. Whoa! He's good in two. Okay, that's that's interesting. Zelda. Mm. Squirp, sorry about that. Squirp's got carried away. Wait, how did he do that? Uh, the gate. The, <laughs> the gate. It appeared. Uh, the goal is nice. Let's go, space grunts. All right, next door. Taking this plate. Yeah, of course. Ah, oh, no, I didn't want to do that. Meow. Zelda, what are you being weird about? Alright, finally we made it through the space door. Out of my way, fools. It's been a, it's been a long time coming. Pew, 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 pew. Oh, that's the end of the chapter. Okay, never mind. One more area of the space zone. Yeah, those look very interesting. Looks very nice. Do you want to save? Yes. All right, guys, we're on to the next chapter. Here we go. Mario and his friends took this space bypass and merged into the Woe Zone. Known to some as the Space Graveyard, it is said to consume all who enter it. Just a little bit longer, we'll be arriving soon, said young Squirps. With his unblinking eyes, glimmering squids continue to forge onward. Would Mario and his friends get their hands on the pure heart at a long last? Find out in Chapter 4-4! The Mysterious Mr. L. Oh! Zelda, no, that's Amber's tea. Zelda, no. No. Here we are! This is the Woe Zone! Squirps has finally arrived! Squir- Scootedly. Squirps is here! Squirps can't wait! It's going squirry uh, when you can. But remember, Space Grunts, this place is super complicated maze! Ah, oh, Zelda. Uh -huh. You'll get lost before you know it, so pay attention to where you're going, Squirp. Well, Squirps, we'll see you guys later at the spot where the pure heart waits. Not a time. Uh... It's what's your face again. I can't believe that creature left us at a time like this. Oh no. But I must say, I feel the presence of the pure heart somewhere in the zone. The woe zone. Okay. This music is amazing, says Blue Ant. Yeah, mm -hmm. This place looks cool, says Dark Moon. Beware, for this dangerous new foe awaits at the end of this zone, says Ben the Rosalina fan. Oh, wow. Get walking loops, says Omerald. I'm going, I'm going. Uh, wow, okay. Let's do this, this Thomas Kenobi. I can't wait for this. Okay, let's go. Um, Things about to get interesting. I don't really well, I see how this is made. For... The reason why I was thinking the orange ones is I could make those for like non-immediate family, and then I could send it to more people. Mm -hmm. Like your aunts and uncles and mine, and then they could get a gift too if I didn't have enough to make a refill for them. I really want to make this spiral yarn, but I guess it's not going to be No, if, if, if we own our own house, I would let you try it. But... 
I would not want to try it on my own house because it'd be a fun of learning the fault. I mean, be better, I don't burn down my own house. I'd be better off than doing it in an apartment because those landlords are not nice when it comes to, you know. I think I could dry it in the sun. Yeah. Huh. It's been a really hot day. You could probably dry it in your car if it's super hot. Probably be one of the days in the car and sit in the 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah. You know what? I'm having problems with this, but we're just gonna, we're gonna be Peach. Just Peach glides. There we go. This game is like so, like, well made. I know, isn't it? Nintendo just goes like above and beyond. It's like, you know, it's like opera quality. Hmm. You know? Yeah. Driving Mario now. How are you supposed to deal with this stuff? Mm. Yeah, how are you supposed to go up there? Well, it's maybe locked. we have to change. Don't we have a, a, a friend that can change the. whether we're on the ceiling or the floor? Um, also, that's a good question. That. Did you find more brisk iced tea? Yeah, I'm on my last brisk iced tea now. There's some out in this. I know. Mm. Look, would you like to. Hmm? Would you like to watch anime tonight with me? What time? What time are you free? Mm, after. Z after Xenoblade. I think create a mystical frame. I only have to put together the YouTube short tonight. Carry, hang, hop on carry and hover over nasty hazards. Pull off a powerful ground pound. Mm, turn sideways. Uh, set up a bomb. I don't see one that makes us go on the ceiling yet. Throw, you could throw someone up there. Throw. Mm. Fleep! Wouldn't Fleep flip it? What do you mean by flip Fleep? It? Doesn't he Fleep things? Where, where do you see Fleep? Fleep. Oh. To create... Oh, he Flip. No. No, that flips things. I think you should do throw and then we can throw someone up on the ceiling. Throw... We could throw someone up there. Maybe we're supposed to find something down here. Mm. I think we have to use one of our characters we already have. I think we have everything we need right with us. Leroy says, I'm surprised you guys never had a Let's Play of this game. It's because by the time we started our Let's Play channel, this game was wicked old. Like, um, and we were doing games that came out in the year of 2012 and 2011. It's like one of my favorite people, Mario games. So. I'm glad you like it. Really I think game. I like this better than a lot of the newer Paper Mario. Oh, okay. This was an amazing choice, guys. And now that Ben told me the cinnamon apple ones are good, I know my choice is correct. Yeah. That's what I was gonna give people for Christmas. Cinnamon apple tea and then my homemade one. Oh. Mm. Well, that was handy. I don't want to raise the bar too high because then people expect more next year. Where was that key? Do you remember that lock that we saw? That's the key for that lock. Mm, where was the lock? Oh, right. I said that one. And Gandalf says, if there is a key, there must be a door. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you really wouldn't make a key unless you made it for a door. You'd make... There's no reason to have a key for no reason. Like, no one would make a key without a door. That's true. So like, Gandalf was correct with that. Okay, so we need to... You got burned? I got all. Oh. Uh, what did I do wrong? We came in here, which is a little maze. So then, where's the door leading out? Well, that's one way to kill that enemy, says Ben. Yeah. You have to find a key, says Ben. We found the key. We're just trying to find the exit, Ben. 
You're making me want iced tea, says Richard Taylor. Sorry, Richard Taylor. Oh yeah, I'm talking about tea a lot. Honestly, I feel like we did a lot better in, in our past because, um, because I talked about food all the time and then we got all these food commercials. But looks like I know a lot about food. It's because it just made people too hungry. We have a few people grab a snack and then go. Yeah. Went the wrong way, says Golf the Mr. Turtleman. It's been years since I had a brisk iced tea. I forgot what it tastes like. It tastes like brisk, baby. Richard Taylor says you're making me want iced tea. You're the one talking about food this time, Luke. I know. Brisk iced tea tastes like tea, but with like um, it's got like an ump in it. <laughs> it tastes like there's a shot of like something in it that makes you like like it's like wakes you up. If you have regular iced tea, it doesn't have that shot of like sugary caffeine that they throw in brisk iced tea. They they put another shot of something that it feels like it's lemony caffeine like sugar that they just like kind of spike the iced tea with to the point where you have to wake up. That's why like you Luke uses it to wake up. It's got like a almost like a candy lemon like taste with iced tea. I feel like it definitely has like it definitely like if you weren't awake before if you were just waking up you will be awake after you're done drinking the brisk iced tea. Mm. Luke and I we get brisk iced tea and we get um we get um, ginger ale, and that's the kind of sodas we get. I used to get like soda, like uh, cherry coke, but I don't. I try not to have any soda anymore. So we get like water, mm -hmm. and then we can have um, ginger ale if you need it at night. And then well, if it's it's for emergencies. Alright, so we go through this the door. Yeah. Just for emergencies. Okay, so let's see if there's anything around here. When we first got married, I knew what to get you for Christmas. I got you plushies, asana, and your toe. Either that or you got this. Now I don't really know what to get because you already have. A lot of different game plushies. There's several different plushies. Mm -hmm. You always get whatever games you need to cover every year. Mm -hmm. I know, I make things very difficult. I should, for... I should get you a Nintendo point card. <laughs> I'm gonna start crocheting sweaters. Mm. Wait, did I? How can they have the, the key I, I subscribed to a lady from Ireland and she she showed how to crochet like the cable knit pattern for like Irish sweaters. It's really cool. I don't even know how to do a simple crochet, but I don't know. I like that. I like that like woven like, pattern. Wait, somebody somebody said that uh, told us to get married. Uh, we did that a long time ago. Huh? I think somebody asked us to get married, or maybe I was reading that wrong. Yeah, what was that supposed to mean? I don't know. Maybe I was reading it wrong. Alright, I'm going the wrong way. I'm, I'm kind of like... This, all the rooms look so similar, it's hard for me to know where to go. Like, all the rooms look the same. I guess that's why they said this is a maze. I don't know. They all look identical. Same white walls, same green things. You went the wrong way, says me, Mr. Turbo Man. Yes, because everything looks the same. I'm having a hard time uh, navigating. There it is. Found it. Oh, now we're on the ceiling. That's cool. Clever. Uh, upside down and sideways. Uh, oh no, they were responding because of the data. Oh. Oh, that's 
I mean, that bot is everywhere. Do you guys have an answer to my question? Don't worry, Luke. Just pay attention. We will help you pass the chapter. Thank you, Blue Ant. Um... Are you going to react to the movie trailer? Um, I don't know. I, I really I don't wouldn't, know. I, reacting to movie trailers is difficult. I don't know. Oh, like, come on. Like, we don't even plan. Like, so many people always ask us. Like, we, you know, like, what are you guys planning on doing tomorrow? We, like, we plan on, like, doing this stream because it's a... Oh, besides our ultimate, we don't have any plans. We never, we never have plans because we never know what we're gonna do the next day. So, I mean, we, you know, we have to look at our analytics every night and figure out what's working, what isn't, and then we have to redo it for the next day. Like, it's, 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 we have to figure out. We right now we are actually not even streaming stuff at night in the future. We're gonna be starting to upload videos at, at 11 o'clock instead of. Streaming. I mean, because the 11 o'clock streams, it takes so long now to get a thousand views. It took, um, it took an hour and 56 minutes to get a thousand well, views for well, one stream. Let me explain, like, like, when we first started doing YouTube, videos were doing really well. So we did videos, and then later on, they said, oh, videos aren't really helping, you only get paid by watch time. So everyone did streams. Now... They're redoing that. You don't get paid by watch time. Now. If someone watches a one minute video versus a four hour video, you get the same amount of payment either way yep. for the view. That's the easiest so way there's no time. there's no reason to do long streams anymore. You need to get paid. No, no, no. You have to do long streams because you get a you get a thousand. Uh, yeah, it takes but... longer to get a thousand views. So we're gonna try to do upwards. Yeah, uh, that's a couple what I mean. times, couple times a week. Well, we're gonna do more uploads because otherwise, you know, because we don't, they basically don't give you the same amount of people, um, live streaming. Like, when you used to get maybe 4,000 views live streaming, now it's down to 500. Because it slowly kept going down and down to 2,000, 1,000. You know, 700 now 500. Uh, yeah. It's, Whereas you used to get like four or five thousand views for the same amount. Yeah, but before then they lowered it to a thousand. Yeah, I know, but they keep lowering it. So it originally started out at several thousand, now it's to 500. So yeah, it's just like, you know, we have to change. We have to change all the time. So like, you know, people always ask us. The only things we know are ultimates. Like if. If we had all ultimates all the time, we would just be doing an ultimate channel where we would just always be doing ultimates for people. Then we would never have to do anything else but ultimates because that'd be what we would do. Mm -hmm. Also, I think we forgot to have like a vote on like for um, Nathan Drake this month. Remember members? All the members would vote on one? Yeah. Oh, how'd you get up? There. I don't. I don't, I don't think this is right. Oh, you finally got on the roof. No, I think this is wrong. Well, wouldn't you go on that door over there? No, that's gonna bring me back down on the ground. Use your ultra shroom snake. I mean, shakes this Ben. Thanks, Ben. Mm. Mm. Yeah, so YouTube just keeps, um, just changing it. Like, as soon as, like, basically, so now, like, a lot of YouTubers aren't streaming anymore. They're uploading videos because the streams aren't getting as many views as they used to. So, so it'll, it goes in cycles, like, YouTube itself goes in cycles. There's, like, I don't know if crafting people have ever been at the top of YouTube, but it was vlogging then it went to gaming now it's going back to vlogging that's what i've heard 
So literally, like, you have a better chance of making money vlogging than doing gaming stuff right now. If you really wanted to make money, you'd, you'd vlog, not game. To be honest. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Try using Peach. I don't know. Switch to Peach to float to the next door, says Blue Ant. YouTube is a cruel mistress. That's right, DBZ. Well, luckily we can switch between. We can keep going with... Maybe you can... Uh, we can keep going with streaming, like, instead of three times a night, we can stream twice a night and then make it the last video be in it. And, uh, like a like an upload. <laughs> the whole reason we've been able to outlive a lot of other channels that have not been on a lo as long as us is because. We always do variety, we always mix everything up, you know, we're mixing videos and streams, we're mixing different types of genres or games, we're mixing different kinds of audiences, and different kinds of playthrough styles, we're doing yeah. fighting Guys, games. Guys, this all looks the same to me. It's all the same background, the same color scheme. Why don't I, you want me to try it? You want me to try like, it? I, I don't... I don't know where to go because it all looks the same. Every door looks the same. Every room looks the same. Oh no. If you want me to try it, sweet muffin. Mm. Want me to try it? Yeah. Okay. Well, guys, I'm going to try this. Had to be, I'm trying to think how many years ago that was. 12, 13, 14 years ago? I don't even remember if this section was in my review. Maybe it was, I don't know. Sometimes I didn't put spoilers in the review. Maybe try using, um, like, use your wand on the TV, because there's nothing here. I've already checked this room, so. The, the only thing we didn't, we didn't scan the room. Try that. Try going back. Go to the ledge and float to the left with Peach. Says, um, you must have shown me the ledge. I don't, but I didn't see any ledges in there. There. Somehow. No, that's that's not it. This ledge, guys. No, no, they want you to go back to the room with all the doors. This this area is nothing. I've 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 been to this area so many times. In, in order to, to play Peach, what you was? have to hit start. Oops. No, you didn't do anything else. Go back in the room, switch to Peach by pressing, pressing the, the. Yep, and go to characters. There you go. Now, I don't know what they mean by float. Like, I don't. There's nothing to float to. See? I don't understand. Well, maybe I go. Oh no, I don't. No, Where? That door goes back. Maybe I float from here. Mm. I mean, it's still. I've been here before. Try it again, I guess. Get a running start. And... Maybe that's the ledge they mean over yeah, here. Yeah, get a running start. No, well, maybe they mean a here. No, 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 honey, you can't go upside down. Maybe Wait. Yes, I can. I can go over there. No, you just went backwards. I think I know what they want me to do. Can I try it again? Um, okay. Let me try it again. Okay, they said I was supposed to go there, and then now again. There we go. Okay, there we, there go. we go. All right, now we're good. Okay. All right, thanks everyone. Thanks, guys and gals. Appreciate that. Yeah, I just don't like when rooms look all the same. It's confusing. It's okay. I don't I don't remember if I had this in my review or not. It's so long ago. Because uh, people sometimes I take people's criticism and be like, well, 
Maybe I was using too much spoilery images, so I'll I'll try to cut down on that. Something good. No third flip, says Blue Ant. Is this right? Wait. No, this is wrong. So I went backwards. <clears throat> Oh, this Whoa. part of the game isn't that great. Okay, awesome. Thanks for letting me know. Uh, Ouch. Thank you, Leroy, for getting the thing, taking care of that. Another crazy bot. Use Peach to glide. Thanks, OH. Thanks, everyone. Yeah, I like how laid back Ben is on his stream. It's definitely really nice, actually. I'm vaguely starting to remember how to do this level, but. Wait. Oh, that's right, the key's gonna be right up here. You got the key! Alright. Now I have to go back through the funhouse. There we go. And let's go back to the pipe. Switch back to Peach. Slide across. Whoops. Ooh. Okie doke. Ow. Then we're ow, 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 ow. Not good. I used my last thing thingy. Uh oh, that's not good. No, that's a problem. Right, switch back to Mario. Get away from me, monsters. Whoa. There, see that. That's a spice called Star and Nice, and it has the shape of a star. Mm -hmm. That looks really cute. I don't know what it is. Oh, that looks cute. Look at you can make take a pine cone, paint it green, and put white on it, and it looks like a Christmas tree. Very smart. Wow, you are so creative. I know, right? Mm -hmm. Wow, sorry. Um, yeah. Whoops. We can do it. We can get through this. I'm just going to the next day point. Wait, was it this way? Ow. What is this door? Hmm, backwards. And it's here. Because then I have to be right side up. Now, okay, now I'm right side up. Uh, I think. Mm, mm, mm. No, this is wrong. This goes back door the other way. Go back! Guys, the poll was from Ben, and he's the one who sponsored the stream. And it was a really great poll, actually. It was a really great idea. Uh -huh. And it was really nice of Ben to actually give us an idea. Because Ben knows that it's hard for us to actually come up with ideas for polls, so 
The fact that Ben not only gave us an idea for a poll, is sponsoring a really fun stream and um, super laid back and nice to us while we're streaming. And in addition to that, gave us uh, donated memberships today. So that was really nice. Ben's been really awesome this stream and we appreciate him so much. Yeah, guys, we're not, we can't really talk about, uh... Let me a save point here. Nope. Yeah, guys, like I said, I'm, this is a, um, we're concentrating on the stream today, and I, I can't really solve a lot of problems. You guys can always tell us on social media or comment. I can't really stop the stream to solve problems, but, um, well, I did see your comments, so we'll try to figure what's happening out if there's a problem on Discord, but I'll have to figure it out later. Okay, nothing there. I'm gonna try being Mario now. Yeah, guys, you know, Blaze Blake, because I'm still working on this. I want to get to a save point at least, so I don't have to go through the fun house too much. Alright, awesome. I'm going to worry about the key next time. Alright, Ben. I'm to hit the block twice, so blue. Yeah, Ben, I'm, I'm calling it, buddy, because uh, I'm starting to get a headache from all the green. No, nope, we're looking. I'm looking at the chat right now, DBZ fandom. I'm saying I'm not picking I said I'm not going to solve people's problems about discord right now I'm looking at my chat though right now but that's the chat I'm not solving problems about a discord incident because that's not what I'm doing right now we're having a nice time streaming Ben are you cool with that or like how much longer is it going to take me to get the key because I'm starting to get a little headache from all the green and the maze and stuff like that We could be almost there. But what is almost there? Like yeah, 10 I minutes, 30 minutes? Like Maybe we can save for where we are. Just call it, says Ben. Just call it? Alright, thank you, Ben. What? Huh? huh? What's going on, DBZ? Uh. Whoa! That was... Uh, thank you! Ultimate upgrade! Wasn't count expected... I mean, wow! Okay, cool. Very cool. Holy cow, what? Uh, well, I mean... It's just, wow, I don't know what to say. I don't even know how to go back to the main menu or how how to how to exit the game. Uh, where, where is the recipes, characters? I mean, I wasn't even playing this game very well, but um, uh, yeah, guys, Vic is on vacation for the next two weeks. Um, maybe some of the other mods can help sort it out. Wow. I, I... Um, even if you guys aren't a mod on Discord, you guys can still help with issues and getting them to people um Vic is not able to solve any problems in the next two weeks and he does more than enough you just reset the system and go back to the main menu that's how it works all right thanks ben okay guys so that was the um seventh sorry sixth episode of uh paper mario gameplay part this was uh bowser space adventure next live stream is xenoblade uh, DBZ fan, um, thank you so much for becoming an ultimate. Let us know what you would like, uh, on the next stream if you could. Um, cause this stream's gonna be ending, uh, like momentarily. So next stream will be at, um, 1130. 
And yeah, yeah, it's gonna be Xenoblade. Um, thank you guys. Thank you, Ben, uh, for your... This is the sixth uh, sponsored stream you've done for Paper Mario. So everybody give it up for Ben for Super Paper Mario. And uh, see you guys on um, uh, Xenoblade, hopefully. Uh, it'd be nice to see a lot of you guys over on Xenoblade. All right, guys. God bless Nappy Gaming. And I'll be back at 1130.